Howdy over you delicious people. I'm here today to review Stephen King's Thinner. Uh, this, of course, is the movie variation. It's not the book. Uh, so if a lot of people ended up getting confused and they clicked on here going and wanting to do a book review about this, I, I'm not your guy. Uh, so going into Stephen King's Thinner film, um, I actually really liked the concept of it or just the the weird kind of eventually like desperation where like seemingly at first billy is just kind of enjoying this and then all of a sudden he realizes like how he at first feels good about it but then all of a sudden there is that reversal of desperation of just needing to eventually gain weight because uh, this guy is uh and i want to try to be as sensitive as as possible for maybe a person that is to actually weigh the starting size of of billy who is to be at his heaviest uh currently at the second of this recording i am roughly about the exact same size of where uh billy is to start off at, at this story and so um but really all but also with my body as well um I also had gone and done numerous years doing weight training and stuff like that so like my body isn't like 100% of mostly uh just uh like a uh like fat and whatever there is some kind of muscle in there also and so really when it comes down to billy uh this guy is just built differently uh so going into this uh like i i thought that this movie was really interesting just because we have this like kind of gypsy curse kind of story and you rarely see that in a lot of films. Like, I would probably see, like, Drag Me to Hell, the the Sam Raimi film. Or I would possibly see, uh, God, what is the other uh, Gypsy Curse movie? Um, like, uh, a Mystery Man, I think uh, a nun had cursed uh, the spleen for he, whoever uh, smelt it, dealt it. And... Uh, we had the the Wolfman, like the Wolfman movie about gypsies and stuff like that. So very few times does it come up, but when it does, it's kind of an interesting thing. So, or you could probably see the movie, uh, the werewolf film, The Cursed. Uh, anyways, so, uh, so it's kind of interesting to see how this movie plays out. Because we have Billy, who is to be this lawyer, who is to probably get all the bad guys off um, or figure out a master plan of, about how to eventually get certain characters um, like uh, to be rendered uh, not guilty. And so eventually we... Uh, Eventually, uh, Billy is to be so happy about his uh, case going well that eventually it seems that his wife is to also give him a reward for having his case seemingly go his way. And she decides to give him a BJ while they're driving around town. You would have thought that maybe she would have said to park the car or whichever, because... If anything, there has been a numerous amount of movies or shows where eventually someone would be getting a little humping session or a BJ inside of a car, and eventually someone would get run over, someone would die, any number of problems tend to happen while uh, someone is to be getting some pleasure while in their car, their, re their vehicle. And so... Billy is to accidentally run over this gypsy woman that all of a sudden uh, he is to go to trial for and he is to 
uh, get away with this whole thing scot-free because supposedly they mentioned, oh, well, it's just an accident. And technically this woman was jaywalking and all this other kinds of stuff. So Billy escapes this whole trial to eventually not escape uh, the gypsy woman's father that is to implant curses upon the three men involved in this whole trial. So eventually all of a sudden these three guys are to deal with this problem and eventually uh, we have Billy who's trying to figure out how to eventually be cured of this curse and to eventually force this out of him one way or the other because he is dangerously losing too much weight. Uh, dangerously going on to uh, eventually be in uh, the possibility of being far too thin to barely be having, uh, like going to die, possibly of starvation. So, uh, so going into this movie, I thought it was just interesting. I thought that this movie was good enough, and some people may not feel that way. Uh, some people could curve the story in their own in their own personal way, just be like, "Yeah, I don't like this story because of this." Like, I don't like this story obviously because this person is to seemingly uh, eat whatever they want and still lose weight. Like, a lot of people could have that kind of story, which is perfectly fine. Um, to say that they don't like this film because of X, Y, Z reason. And I could understand that completely. Um, so I just say that this movie is just good enough. Um, because really I just thought that there was a real unique story here that I even heard of like uh, a ton of times over. The whole gypsy cursing thing uh, seems to be a unique thing. Uh, for me to have seen, heard, or whatever. Uh, it almost kind of feels like that Jim Carrey, like, liar, liar movie, uh, which doesn't have a gypsy curse, but we just, we just end up having a kid who ends up having a birthday candle blow out, which he ends up wishing that his father wouldn't lie anymore. So, let's go in to this film, kind of go into more detail about it. And so I think that it's that customary time yet again to go into that double five time territory because we are about to do this thing called spoiler time, spoiler time. It's about that time you can do spoil this movie. I'm going to pause here for a second. I got some wicked, ju just wicked, just cotton mouth so let me pause here for a second to see if i can uh give myself an uncottoned mouth wicked <laughs> I, why use the word wicked i don't know uh but yeah so uh if people if i didn't say before if people look before we go into complete spoilers where can you go to see this movie uh, there's been an app I've used, been using fairly reliably called Fox HD Movies. You can go into that app and dare in fact watch this movie for absolutely free. There's no fees. You can just eventually go into Google Play and go out of your way to find this app and watch this movie for absolutely free. Uh, but I just wanted to watch this movie because it seemed like unique enough story to where I just seemingly had interest in it. Um, so... Whether this gets uh, a ton of views or absolutely none, um, I just kind of felt fulfilled in my day because I went out of my way to watch this film and just see what this story entailed. So, spoilers now. So, Billy is to be this lawyer in this thing called a court. And so... Billy is to have uh, this uh, guy that he's working for called Richie. And so Billy is to come up with this 
uh, kind of uh, way of getting Richie off by going and asking this guy who is to be on the stand, well, hey, uh, is there anybody else uh, that could possibly have motive uh, to want you dead, sir, instead of Richie himself? And eventually this guy is to go like, well, uh, I think I had a past lover that seemed to have a grudge against me. And so all of a sudden that ended up getting uh, Richie acquitted of the of this case and that he uh, basically ended up uh, winning. Billy ended up winning his case. And so Linda is telling Billy, it's like, well, like, I guess you were to get this mobster acquitted. And he's like, well, yeah, I'm going to try. Like, might as well. And so eventually he, he goes off and he does it. Uh, and, like, weirdly, they end up kind of doing this, like, godfather moment to one another. Because uh, uh, Billy ends up waking up, getting uh, ready for work and, and going for breakfast and whatever. And he ends up getting this uh, dietary shake, which, uh, like... I've had quite a few of like, uh, like certain kind of like proteins or uh, certain kind of uh, like muscle kind of shakes and stuff. They never taste good. Like it's very rare that you end up like it's something that you have to forcibly get used to. And so I'm sure that Billy probably like this is probably his first ever time really drinking this. And so, of course, he's going to be like, yeah, this just is like, blech. It's like, well, yeah, because all of them taste garbage. Like, none of them is going to be like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, like, this is the, the delicious, the most new, like, oh, my God, I love this. Like, no one is ever going to feel that right away. Um, no one is ever going to get addicted to their dietary uh, beverage or whatever that they are to of course, eat and or drink. It's impossible. But yeah, but I used to have just like a uh, certain kind of uh, sh uh, certain kind of like uh, drinks or something to eventually like help me uh, eventually do workouts and stuff like that. And they always just like, it's something to eventually get used to. And then you're like, you know what, this actually tastes pretty good after the first jarring uh, sensation of it. Um, but yeah, so so we end up going on, and so Billy is to win his case, and so his wife is to eventually just be like, well, hey, like, you won another one of your cases. Like, hey, well, uh, like, I'm going to go and I'm going to give you a BJ because of the success of your case. While, of course, Billy is to be driving around after this uh, dinner that he had, uh, had eaten well too much. Uh, and so Heidi is just like, well, Billy, like... You should really just cut down on how much you're really eating. And Billy's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, not only that, but when Billy won the case with Richie, like, he ate a pretty big meal uh, with Richie also. And so, really, I can understand where Heidi is coming from, where it's like, Billy could possibly have a heart attack. Uh... Because really, if you're just living your life just uh, like severely like unhealthy and whatever, um, eventually like uh, like it's just gonna come back to just like be like you're you're gonna live your life just very difficultly, if that's even a word. So, but hey, like people have their own lives that they can live. Um, I'm not trying to morality push anybody to do anything uh, because look at me, <laughs> look at the life of which that I have led. Uh, so I'm being honest. Uh, so anyways, Billy is to eventually go on and get a BJ from his wife in this car to eventually accidentally run over this gypsy woman who we end up finding out is to uh, be just this uh, daughter 
of this uh, guy who is to be this gypsy also, who is eventually going to put a curse on not only Billy, but the two other people involved in this case. So, and uh, Billy is to make the assumption that it's like, oh, that's his wife. And they're like, oh no, like, if anything, like he's 107 and she was like 70 something. So no, like she's like his daughter. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Anyways, so Billy goes off to trial because of this. And so uh, they end up coming up with reasons for Billy to get off uh, from this case. And so... Really, the thing is, is that um, supposedly people are saying that it was an accident, that this girl was jaywalking, that uh, this girl was quite possibly running from one side of the road to the other and trying to see if anybody could see this girl running from one side of the road or the other, eventually getting the pharmacist in who's Stephen King and asking him, like, Hey, was this girl, uh, was this woman running across the street? And I'm like, I'm sorry, with this person's age, I don't think that she's going to be running from one side of the street to the other. But that's just me. That's just my kind of consensus is that, like, I wouldn't be running across the street either, even at my age. Because uh, who would? So... But eventually they just say, it's like, oh, well, it's this old, this own woman's fault. She was, she was jaywalking, and so eventually Billy gets off of this whole case because they just uh, wipe their hands of it and call it an accident. Uh, it seems like this police officer was just to kind of corroborate that, um, that Billy didn't do anything wrong because really we just have it to where this town just isn't really acceptable or just isn't really... Uh, quite uh, accepting of gypsies being in their town. And because eventually we just have these guys that are getting together and they're just kind of like, ah, like all these, like these gypsies, they just kind of come in here and just kind of like do whatever they want and just because uh, they can get away with it. So because they're just kind of eventually just going to move on to the next town and move on to the next town. Like, they can cause chaos here because they're only going to be here for a limited time. And then eventually ju they're just going to move on to, to wherever they're going to go next. Uh, so. But again, like, I have nothing against a gypsy. Because, uh, uh, freaking, I love everything supernatural. <laughs> if that's what they're to do, then by golly, freaking do it. If they do none of that then good on them too uh hopefully i never get cursed by any gypsy or whatever i think i've already been cursed for however long that i've lived but uh maybe my good luck will turn around <laughs> so uh so we go on so eventually what happens is uh we have this uh, Gypsy, who of course is to have the name uh, Tatsu, who is to eventually go and whisper sweet nothings to Billy, uh, and then is to put this curse on him. So, we of course start this movie with Billy, uh, of course being at 290 pounds, and he is wearing this, uh, of course, like prosthetic makeup, whatever. And then eventually when he is to get like really scary skin or whatever, like supposedly they just have like his cheekbones like inflated out and like they just kind of take his bones and try to figure out how to like make them look thicker so he looks thinner through prosthetic. And I'm like, okay, like... If I were Billy, I wouldn't want to crazily try to lose this weight also. Uh, but I just thought it was, like, really goofy how they're, like, really trying to figure out a way to just make uh, Billy look thinner through prosthetics. Um, but, yeah. So, but, like, justifyingly, like, heck yeah, I would do that too. 
to just try to like make this person as thin as possible. It's like they're not going to have a Christian Bale character where like eventually he's going to like massively uh, like win the uh, like gain this weight and then like throughout the show heavily lose the weight and eventually like just ruin his life. Uh, but I don't know if Christian Bale like loses like hundreds of pounds and gains the man and like Jared like you could see a, like a method actor that's like man like going through crazy weight loss and weight gains but whatever so Billy is to of course be at 290 by the beginning of this movie and so then eventually he ends losing like uh like 284 and so uh, we end up having Heidi who's like, oh my god, that's, like, quite a bit of weight loss. Like, that seems weird, because they're, like, recording, recording it? That's not a word. Recording it, and eventually, like, every single day, I guess, they're to document, uh, what, uh, Billy's weight loss is. So, because he's trying to diet and he's trying to lose weight. Uh, but it seems that Billy was consistently or just had a stagnant uh, kind of small portioned weight loss. But anyway, so uh, so eventually Billy is to uh, just continue to lose weight no matter what. Uh, like he is to basically like stuff himself with a bunch of calories a day just to eventually just lose three pounds like he never gains anything he just loses three pounds no matter how many like uh like he could eat he could consume like a whole entire thanksgiving meal and he could never gain a pound he will only lose three pounds so eventually billy is to eventually need uh to one uh kind of find out about some of his co-workers and it seems like his other co-worker had gotten cursed uh with i guess this kind of uh like skin ailment i guess this guy had uh i'm assuming psoriasis and eventually he ended up getting it like really bad to where it looked like he ended up getting disfigured and eventually Billy is trying to head to this woman's house uh, and eventually this woman is to tell him, it's like, well, like, because uh, supposedly she ends mentioning that he went to Minnesota. I'm like, yeah, of course he went to Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. <laughs> I'm from Minnesota. So like when she uh, when she said the word Minnesota, I popped. I'm like, yeah, Minnesota. Because I'm just bizarre like that. Where if any if any movie ever mentions my state, I'm excited about it for whatever goofy reason. Um, and I don't know why that is anyways. Uh, to have like pride that your state that you're in is to be mentioned in some film. Uh, because it should mean nothing. Uh, anyways, so... Uh, so Billy is to talk on to this woman... To eventually find out that this guy is to be like so disfigured that he doesn't want to go out anymore. And so Billy is just like, well, okay then. Well, so. Because eventually Billy is to find out that this guy also had this gypsy talk to him. And so eventually this woman is to find out that this gypsy is to supposedly decide whether or not to get rid of uh the curse and this gypsy said that it, he will never um he will never have these curses removed off of anyone and so billy's like well okay like i guess like like maybe this is all in my head and whatever so uh so eventually we just continue to have Billy who's m like losing massive amounts of weight still. And so Hadi is just to be like, well, you know what? Maybe like, maybe like this really isn't right at this point. 
that you're like trying to like gain as much weight as possible by like scarfing down food in irrational amounts of calories and you can't gain weight like this seems weird and so Heidi's like well maybe this could be you know like cancerous and Billy's like oh my god so if I go on and I try to like uh, if I have too much weight on me, then I'm going to have a heart attack. If I try to slim down too much, all of a sudden I'm going to have, like, cancer. And, like, good God, I can't win either way. So, eventually Billy goes off to go and see this doctor. And so, we end up having this doctor uh, who is to, of course, be, uh, God, what is this guy's name? Um, uh, that's not it. Uh, whatever this doctor's name is, I'm not going to go and, and go through and scroll through, through IMDb. I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, eventually the doctor is kind of look, uh, Billy up and down and just like, well, it seems like you're really healthy. Like there's nothing that I can really like prescribed to you because like you're healthy anyways so there's nothing I can really do it also gets to the point where Billy goes to I guess a big and tall uh a suit guy or tailor and is to say like well it looks like I'm gonna have to go and get a whole new wardrobe because it looks like I can't fit in these clothes anymore and so Billy is to go to this tailor and eventually he's like, hey, man, how did you lose all this weight? Like, this seems miraculous. Because eventually it comes down to him losing, like, 100 pounds. Hence why Billy is going to uh, this uh, guy and asking uh, this guy, like, hey, are you okay? Like, hey, what's going on? Is he just like me who's losing a ton of weight? What's going on here? So... Uh, and eventually the tailors asked Billy, like, how did you lose all this weight? I've tried everything and like nothing works. And so Billy's like, well, what I have, you don't want. <laughs> like the way I lost it, like you don't like you won't be able to accomplish this also. So <clears throat> eventually Billy is to again uh, supposedly get a new line of wardrobe, but eventually his clothes still don't fit him regardless. Uh, and plus there's a whole reason for that. So, <clears throat> eventually Billy is to also go and talk, uh, to seemingly the police officer that was otherwise tied to this, uh, uh, this whole court thing. And supposedly we end up finding out that this, uh, this police officer is to be heavily disfigured also. To where it seems like we never see this guy's complete 100% face until like the very end of this scene where eventually he like puts his face into this light to tell us how really just disfigured that this guy is. And so... Eventually, this police officer is forcing Billy uh, to take this gun and to shoot this gypsy guy um, because it's the right thing to do. And Billy's like, no, I don't think I can kill him because he has to remove this curse. And so the guy's like, no, shoot him, kill him. <laughs> like, that's the only way to remove it. And, and Billy's like, I don't think it is. And so... Eventually, Billy is to walk off just kind of scared uh, about this guy because it seems like they're juggling the uh, this gun around. And so, reset here for a second. So, eventually, Billy is to run off just kind of scared. And so, all of a sudden, we end up hearing a, uh, a, uh, a gun getting fired uh, within this guy's house, assuming that he took his own life. So, after this moment, we just finally have Billy, who has nowhere to turn to. And so, eventually he is to go uh, by himself to try and track down <clears throat> these gypsies. 
And so <clears throat> he ends up going and trying to track them down. And so he has to really get to them in a very quick manner because he's starting to lose unhealthy amounts of weight to where it's going to get to the point where like he's not going to be able to like get around all that well uh, because he's probably not going to have much of any real uh, like kind of uh, muscle or anything like that left in his body or anything like that that could eventually help him just as far as mobility goes. So eventually uh, Billy is to have this weird, bizarre dream while he's trying to chase after these gypsies. So he ends up uh, in his in this dream uh, going to this uh, this uh, God, what is it called? Uh, this uh, uh, amusement park. There we go. I'm like, what is the word? I'm like, Six Flags, Valley Fair, Valley Fair, um, amusement park. There we go. Carnival, amusement park. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Billy goes off to this amusement park and is to eventually go and find the gypsy who is to supposedly guess his weight. And so Billy goes and goes on this thing to guess his weight. And so the gypsy guy is to say, it's like, well, yeah, you're weighing this weight now. And in a couple of days from now, you'll lose this weight. And a couple of days from now, you'll lose this weight. And X, Y, Z things, you'll lose this amount of weight. And so really we have where uh, the... Uh, Tatsu's granddaughter is to weirdly like be chucking uh, these things at people or at Billy uh, with this weird slingshot weapon for whatever goofy reason. Um, but it seems like we also had this girl who ended up going and taking the slingshot and eventually ends up putting a hole through Billy's hand in the later part of this movie. Uh, with this kind of like metal pellet that she ended up like slingshotting and end up like ripping through Billy's hand weirdly. So, uh, so Billy eventually is to seemingly in this dream bump back into the guy with horrible psoriasis or horrible just a, a skin ailment, and he ends up going to this guy's car, and they end up just kind of running around in this car, eventually, uh, smashing into this, uh, this one truck with the gypsy guy in it. And so all of a sudden this bus rams into the other side of this car and supposedly is to kill Billy off in this dream, but Billy wakes up. So eventually Billy is to, uh, eventually go off and find these gypsies. And so at the very beginning of this movie, we had Billy who was to supposedly uh, give this one gypsy who is to be Gina this quarter or whatever to eventually have this girl lift up her dress. And so eventually Gina... Um, supposedly was to might quite possibly have heard what this guy was to tell Billy to do. And so eventually Billy does go there and eventually Gina is to have the, uh, like the quarter or whatever the, or the thing of change. And so eventually she ends up lifting up her skirt and then she ends up spitting over by Billy and then she ends up walking away. Like, I guess she had heard that whole uh, that whole story and whatever. And so eventually, I guess she ended up performing what she was supposed to do for this payment. So, weirdly. So that was in the beginning of the movie. So, eventually Billy is to go off to try and desperately... Uh, 
like plead with this uh with this elder gypsy tatsu to like please just remove the curse like please like uh like it's really weighing on me like like i'm gonna really get into some real unhealthy weight so please just take this curse off me and so tatsu is just like no i'm not going to remove it like there's nothing you can do right now that is going to sway me so all of a sudden uh we have gina who tosses this uh thing and ends up hurting billy's uh slingshots uh this this metal thing into billy's hand now billy has a hole through his hand and so billy now just frustrated now bleeding from his hand is now going to say it's like well hey like uh you know what i'm gonna do like i'm gonna put a curse on every single one of you people uh because of what you are doing to me and i'm gonna call it white man from town and that's my curse upon all you people that all you people that are around this campfire are all gonna regret this the time that you did not um like help me so eventually uh Billy goes back to his uh his place and eventually he ends up calling Richie who Richie is to have a guy that he works with following these people and eventually they find out that this guy is following them and so they end up killing him because he was following them and so Richie ends up taking matters into his own hands and he ends up killing one of the gypsies and then eventually forces Gina uh to get a confrontation with her grandfather because he is like uh cutting her a little bit like hurting her a little bit and then eventually he is to uh threaten her with acid uh and so eventually that forces uh the gypsy to come on out and say okay fine white man from town like, I will go and I will, like, I will, uh, like, put this curse into this pie and you have to go and find, uh, people that are going to eat this pie and once they do, uh, your curse will be completely lifted and so, eventually Billy's like, yeah, I know who the perfect person is to go and force this pie on them because, uh, like, we have Billy that kind of blames Heidi for what had all happened to him. And also, we just have Heidi who seems to be kind of skirting around with this one, uh, doctor. And so, immediately Billy is thinking that Heidi is having an affair, even though Heidi is refusing that anything had happened with this doctor. Billy doesn't really quite buy it. So eventually Billy is to give Heidi this pie. She takes a slice of it and dies the very next day in bed. And Billy's like, oh, hey, yeah. Uh, he ends up going and kissing his wife and kind of has an aftertaste of the pie. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, so uh, eventually Billy is to also realize that uh, when he is to get up, that Lisa had had a piece of this pie and he's like, oh no, like I didn't want my like daughter to eat this pie, but I guess it's like, it's too late now. So all of a sudden, uh, Billy's doctor is to eventually open the door and it seems like he is to just kind of mention that like, uh, he, that he really didn't have like a, he didn't sleep around on Billy's wife and whatever. And Billy's like, oh no, hey, like, no, like, I was just really just, uh, like, uh, figuring out a way to repack on the pounds, you know, Doc? And, because you didn't freaking help me. Uh, but, like, uh, like, hey, like, how about, like, you and me have a slice of this breakfast pie? <laughs> and then eventually, like, the doctor is being, like, kind of put into the, uh, put into the, um, the home. And Billy's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you to freaking eat this pie so you can get 
killed and keel over. So, really with that said, that's where this movie kind of finishes up. Hopefully I kind of covered everything, but I also feel like I rushed through uh, quite a bit of the details here. But I want to quick, I wanted to quickly get this done. Uh, there's also some interesting movies that eventually I want to also get to today. Uh, like, it seems like there is a movie that, I don't know if it's going to be easy to get to, but it, like, it looks really fun. Uh, it looks really interesting, so I'm going to give that movie a try. So, otherwise, I'm going to get out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.